Okay guys, welcome back to Ashes to Ashes. Um, we were at a house tonight. We were told about uh, by a really good friend of ours, Crystal. She does a lot of uh, abandoned house hunting and stuff like that. And she said this house that we're at tonight was the only house that she would never pull in the driveway because she felt so unwelcome and unwanted. So as soon as she told me, I was like, Chris, we got to do this house. So we are here tonight, and uh, shout out to Crystal. Much love to you for finding this place. She was supposed to investigate with us um, tonight, but uh, uh, family matters. Uh, uh, she couldn't come with us, so um, we'll bring her on another one. So let's do this, guys. Ashes to ashes, you all fall down. There is an old stables over here, guys. Let's just have a. I'm not going. I don't know what would be in there. Oh. I guess I am going in there. Have to look later for that one. <laughs> All right. Through. I just want to see you. Uh, oh. wasp nest. It used to be. Oh, that was big. That's it. Yeah, there's, you'll see a little bit, but that's as far as we got it open. I was here with Crystal guys the other day just to check this place out, and it was the first time she was actually willing to come up, it was when I was here. I'm going to try to... Apparently, oh, spider. <sighs> There's a attic door in here somewhere, but I don't remember where. I'm going to try to shut this door. This is the dirtiest place spot in the... So, guys, again, we brought Simon. I'll leave that somewhere in there. And one of the reasons why I picked Simon as a tool is because this game, as a lot of people know, has been around for a long time. So if there's any spirits that have been around for a long time, might recognize this and know how to use it. And it does work. 
to show you. And we're going to be trying a new app tonight, guys, too. We'll, let, we'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's that spider in there. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Have a look around first, guys, and then we'll uh, come with the shots. Ish. The only room I'm not going to go in, me and Chris are not going to go in because this one, because I don't know if you can tell, but that floor is about to collapse. And as you can see, everything in it is going to go with it. There's the basement area. There's the basement there, guys. And unlike many of your other videos, I am going to venture down there tonight. <clears throat> One of the reasons why I don't like going in basements in these old houses, for obviously, is because of uh, the structure. I do not want to get trapped under one of these houses. This one seems pretty sound. Like I said, I was here a few days ago just to check this out in the daytime, and everything seemed pretty sound for the most for the most part. See, there's not terrible signs of any, uh, usually you see them on the steps like a bunch of crap. Yeah. I'm getting the same, uh, feeling I had out here the other day. It was, um, uh, what's it called? Soundproof room feeling. Yeah. Like it's thick in the air. Somebody's must have obviously been here. Yeah. That's clean here. Must be using something. Something might be using as a cutting case. That could be. All the curtains look at the same. Reminds me of like a nun. <laughs> Why does it look like someone laying in the blanket? Hello? Hello? What are you doing? It's not. It's not doing it. Okay, good. There's not much for uh, scat anywhere. Mm -hmm. There's like whatever 
the little thing over there. They're ladybugs. Oh, is that them Chinese ones? Yep. They're ladybugs. Huh. This stuff, this is from squirrels. Yeah. It has pine cones. Oh, I was going to say, didn't I have something in my hand? <laughs> I'm still feeling it. Hmm. Oh, she just... Looks like someone was ready for a toy drive or something. I get the feeling that somebody's been using this as like a little party place. It wouldn't surprise just, me. Just the feeling that I get. It wouldn't surprise me. It's just... They've been taken care of. There's a knock downstairs. I heard it too. There's a knock downstairs. Just now, guys. We're gonna go down. Hello? That was you knocking. Can you do it again? The uh, yeah, one out in the advocate, the advocate yeah. one. Yeah. I think it's because of the setup. It does feel it's like, yeah. Room. This was the creepy room. Yeah. What we called the creepy room over there, really. Yeah. guys we're going to start a, the investigation um, we're just going to do a, a silent one first without any apps or anything is that just something hanging okay it is see that worker's vest out there I wasn't sure if it was so we did hear a knock down here just a minute ago So, probably the perfect time to uh, start. Is don't silent. Is anybody here wants to talk? We're here checking out your place. Want to know if you would like to communicate with us? You can give us a knock or a bang to let us know you're here. Dave, this is Chris. 
What's your name? If you don't mind me asking. Can you let us know that we're talking to somebody by making a noise? You're moving something? I don't know the last time someone's been here to talk to you, but if you want to take advantage of uh, us trying to talk to you, now's your chance. But we have to know you're here. Something audible or physical to let us know you're here. Uh, sounds like a weird old radio or something. Or grinding. Can you do something a little louder? Can you repeat this? Downstairs. Can you come up here and repeat this? Here's a fun one. Can you finish this? I think we heard you. Could you do it again? Our friend Crystal always drove by this place, but was too scared to come up the driveway, was too scared to come in and look at it. Is there a reason why? She said she felt unwelcome and un uncomfortable being around it. Maybe you can help us out. Chris and I have been doing this for quite some time. And we know we've been at some bad places. But nothing's ever scared us. We want to be scared. Maybe you could help us out with that. At any time, whenever you need the energy, whenever you get the energy. There's also a Simon game here. If you're not sure how it works, you just press one of these colors, and it'll make a noise. It'll let us know that you're here.
the inevitable. Okay. I'm going to cautiously walk down here because I don't know if anything's going to be staring back at me. Yeah, I'm going to go down so far and then I'm going to look around and see. This is somebody's house. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's all a possibility. Okay, so far. I'm just, I can't see the camera yet, guys. I'm just using the light. We heard two knocks from, I gotta get down here. Can't do it from the step. There's, looks fine. I mean, it's ugly and creepy as hell, but Animal wise, there's nothing. Should check every corner first. Are you down here? There's not much for Scott down here either, Chris. If you're down here with me, can you make a noise or show yourself? If you chose down here to scare me, I guarantee you it'll work. I don't know what's under this board, so I'm not going to step on it, but I ain't going to. Go a little deep. Oh, there's a crawl space too, Chris. You still up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> if there's any spirits down here, can you make a noise? Man, this was a bad idea. I do not like it down here. Can you bang on something down here? I'm just going to pan the whole basement, guys. down here in a bit and use the new app. Oh, I hit that. Okay. All right. Oh, break. Don't want to catch my jacket on the nail. To say if we have somebody up soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're very right. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, we're going to get ready to um, use the app. We're going to use Necrophonic, of course. And uh, the new one we're going to start using, it's been around a while, it's pretty popular, is Ghost Tube. We're going to try that out for the first time tonight. So, bring it with you. Okay guys, so what this does, it's called Ghost Tube. It's a popular app, and it's one a lot of people trust. And what this does, this bottom bar here is like the Ovilus, which since we turned it on, it said purgatory and rest in peace so far. This next bar up here with the green line, that's an EMF detector, so that will move. If it detects anything, and I have tested this before I brought it here tonight. And what I really like is this little thing, thing here flashing like an antenna. 
that acts like a REM pod. So if something gets close, it turns red and alerts us. If something goes over the... So that's what we're going to try and use first. Is there anybody here that would like to talk to us? We can come down and speak through this phone that we have set up. Choose from the word bank anything that you wish to say. Is there anything that you would like to say? That was me, guys. Closet. Closet? Do we even see a closet? Yeah. Oh. Closet. Said it again. What about the closet? What's in the closet? If you come close to this phone and put your hand over top of it, close, we'll know, it'll sound an alert. Just like that. Could you touch that phone? Or use energy to say something with it and your words will hear them? Keep an eye on that green bear too. I'm just going to kind of... Would you like to talk to me? I'm calling on you now to talk to me. Scratch. Oh, crash? Scratch. Oh, scratch? Who do you want to scratch? Scratch. Who? Scratch again. Scratch closet. Scratch and closet. Huh? Closet. In the kitchen? The closet in the kitchen? Can you make a scratching sound in that closet? Maybe. 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 All right, I'm going to go over by the closet. Scratch. <sighs> oh, mosquito. Oh, I walked into a spider. Do you need to use some energy to make a scratch? Closet, closet, closet. What? You can use some energy if you have to. Closet, closet, closet. Do you want me to go in the closet? Closet. That I tested that out the other day and it was not doing that. It would never repeat itself. Closet. Before. Can you do something in the closet? Is this the closet? Was that downstairs? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is who? This is creepy. Drown. <laughs> Drowned. Drowned? What was the noise downstairs just now? Is there a woman trapped here? Who is she? 
I don't know. What's your name? That did not do that the other day. It did not repeat itself once when I was using it. Can you tell me your name? I'm just going to walk around here just repeat in case I can't hear it. I'm pick up on the, whatever she says or it says. Is there a woman here? Whoever's here, can you put your hand over that phone, that device right there? It's supposed to be able to detect you if you put your hand on the phone. You don't feel anything, it, wouldn't, it won't hurt you. Because if it did, I wouldn't be using it. Yep. There was moaning right here. Like an old lady moan. <clears throat> Tell me your name. I don't know if you heard it, but as soon as I walked into this room, which is just next to where Chris is so here. Can address you. Sound like a sound like an old lady moaning or something. Can you muster up enough energy to make something move or throw something or kick something? Or talk to Chris out there with the... Heaven. Heaven? Is that where you want to go? I'm just going to go to the top of the steps, Chris. That's what Let's cross over. There's got to be a woman here. Who is she? Heaven. Is there somebody up here with me? Did you let Chris downstairs know that you're here? Chris just asked where the spirit was in this house. My breathing's heavy. I wonder if it meant this closet. That one with the blanket. Are you in that closet? Are you in there? Can you let me know?
it all of a sudden? Heaven. Heaven. Leave here. What? Leave here. It says leave here. Why? You don't want us here? Can you show us how bad you want us to leave? Can you do something to make us leave? Which brings me back to that trying to scare us thing. We don't mean any disrespect. Believe us, we don't. We just want to know that you're here. Light. 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 Flight. Light. Oh. Light. Is that where you... <clears throat> yeah. Can you let us know where you're at? Are you in there? I'm going to kill my life for a second. This is Chris's flashlight you're seeing now, guys. Are you in the kitchen? Tap. Are you outside? Another one. Are you in the porch? Are you in the hall? Let me know when you can see my light. I'll go down here. Are you in the living room? Light. Oh. I said light. This is where I heard the moan. So where in the living room are you? Would you like to leave here? Yes, we're coming back to the kitchen. Something was just, something was just thrown. Yep. Something was just thrown, guys. I know the camera heard that, and I'll try to turn it up when I review it. Screw. Screw? Oh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it was just one tap, so it must have just come off. Did you throw the screw? Are you okay with us being here? Light. Light? You, you don't like this light? Light, light. Okay, well we can fix that. Shadows. Light. Great. What? Well, do I Okay. What? My back. Just my lower back. Probably nothing there. Just right here. Sorry, I can't get my arm up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't see anything. Nope. Okay. Just getting the pain right. It, that doesn't mean it won't show up or something, no. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Is that better for you?
light. Uh, I'm here. Light, light. Footsteps over here. And I can't see. Light. Do you want light? Oh, maybe it wants to go light. through the light. And light heaven. Yeah, light heaven. And you can cross over if you want to. You can head to heaven if that's where you want to be. I hope that's rain dripping up there. It is. Here's from the hole. The hole. There's a face that jumps up in this little LCD screen, I'm telling you. Because that's all I can see. <clears throat> Is there anything else you'd like to say? We're only here for a short period of time. If you want to cross over, it's nice that you can cross over. No one else lives here anymore, so you may as well go as well. Just gonna walk around. I can't see. Can you can you show yourself to my camera so I know where you're at? I'm going to stand perfectly still. Can you make a noise in here or one of these rooms downstairs? We heard you throw something. We heard the knocks. My eyes are like screaming to see something like <laughs> can't see. Alright, just looking at I'm using the screen guys to see where I'm going because I cannot see in front of me. said nothing since you told it it could go. Are you still with us? Light. Oh, my fucking nerves. Are you alone here? Are you the only one? Because it was saying, who is she? So it's almost like one's talking to another, about another. Do you know who she is? Oh my. I'm going to walk back up here in the complete darkness. Don't want to, but I have to. Oh, ceiling. A noise up here. Show yourself. Even for a quick minute.
Well, guess what this creepy factor scale is up here right now. I'm by myself up here. Is there anything you can do to scare me? Scare me back downstairs? Could you make a big bang while I'm up here? I'm coming down. I just don't want to fall. Okay. Um, Chris, if you want to switch over to the microphone, go right ahead. I'm actually going to... Really? We just <coughs> obviously switched apps on the necrophonic now just to show you. Okay. I am going to take one more run down here while I'm in night vision, but we'll see if we can get a couple answers first. Excuse me. Anybody here that wants to talk? Or can you talk to this app now? Can you say my name? My name's Chris. Oh. Or can you say Dave's name? So what's with this closet? Stuck here. What's your name? Okay. I'll listen close when I'm in. Is there anything dark here? Evil? Dark? 
Dark Spirits. Chris got something freaking with his back, guys. He had me check you see him for scratches or something, but now it's pain. Are you on the stairs? Can you? It feels like something's standing right beside me. Over here. Are you with me right now? Can you touch me or grab me to let me know? Yeah. Were you on the stairs just now? Yes. Okay. Can you? Could. What? I see. Could you throw something down the stairs? Hit him. You can try. You try to hit me, I'm pretty fast. Well, I have to be. Chris's brother? How did I just say Chris's brother? What? Yeah, I heard don't twice too. Okay, that room's pitch black. Well, we are almost done. Here, hold on. Why does that look extra dark? Guys, through, with my bare eyes, with my bare eyes, yep, with the naked eye, I have a little reflection over there, a little bit of light from my phone. And on my, I'm looking through just my eyes, this is completely blacked out, that corner. But looking through here, it's not. I'm getting dragged. I'm getting dragged. I'm getting dragged. What was that? I heard you say you're getting drained. Alright, you know what? I'm going to do one more quick look in there and then we'll wrap up. There was something right there. I told you there was something. Yeah. I knew there was something there. And if you go in there and look up in that corner without like without your light, you can't even see, you can only see half of that, uh, like half of that. Yeah. It looks like there's something really black up in that corner. Okay. So we're both seeing something in this area. I thought I seen an arm, like an arm reach over here and then back. Okay. I'm going to do... With, oh, okay, I have to turn the light on or I won't be able to see walking down the stairs. I'm just going to go to the bottom of the steps and turn the light off. Let them know we're about to wrap up if they want to say anything. into anything. 
and you will hear me turn it off now. It is darker than dark. Is there anything down here with me? Could you bang on something? I feel like I'm being watched from a million different directions. Sorry for that shake the sudden movements guys, but I'm This is terrible feeling. What's that? Oh, okay. And I cannot see. Could you make a noise down here? Let me know you're here. And if you make a noise, a big one, we will leave. Or show yourself. Anything? Do anything? You were throwing things and making noise upstairs. Maybe there's nothing down here? Okay, guys, it still feels like I'm being watched. I'm going to turn this on myself with my back to that side. Whew. See if there's any thing that pops up or shows up. Can you let me know you're here? Giggling. Giggling, giggling. <laughs> right over there. There's giggling down here, Chris. A little kid's voice? Yeah. Is there a child down here? Could you throw something at me? Like real quick, so we don't have to be down here too long. I would walk over there, guys, but there is... I can literally not see anything. But I was banging my head and kicking things the first time. You can just imagine in the dark. Turn the light back on for a second, guys. Okay. One last look. Oh. If there is a woman here trying to pass over, please look for the light. Believe in the light and go towards the light. If you're a good soul, there will be someone waiting for you on the other on the other side. We promise. Now if you're a bad soul or bad spirit.
What were you hearing? I heard knocking over there. You know how the furnace starts to kick on? Yeah. The knocking, it's like boom, boom, boom. Oh, really? There it is. That's someone hitting pipes. That's scratching. Yeah, that's scratching now. Trying to think where this goes. Up there. That closet would be right about there, one with the blanket in it. There's the banging again. Guys, seems to be. scratching on the window. Yep. Those windows aren't moving in the wind. Those are solid. They're scratching on the window. It sounds like someone banging on uh, ductwork. And Chris said he heard it. It sounds like when the furnace first turns on. Guys, there's no furnace turning on in this house. Okay, guys, we're going to take off. Um, this is probably the most activity we've had since we started this. Maybe Gales might have been about the same, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot more going on here. Um, voice we flies here for sure. Why? So voice flies, talking. Stuff yeah, voices sure. banging. We had something thrown right yeah. here. That had to be that screw. Seen the shadows in that hallway there behind the camera. So anyway, guys, we appreciate you. Um, we're going to try to get as many of these out as we can, but where we live, there's not as many abandoned places that's easy to get to. Not like the guys that, you know, live in the big cities and stuff where there's asylums and, and houses on every, you know, every hundred feet, there's an abandoned house. We don't have that luxury, so we're trying to find them. And the minute we find them, if we can get in, we get it in. We get in and try to bring it to you. Uh, this place was great. I think it's probably my favorite so far yeah. for uh, abandoned locations. Um, we still try to keep the urbex part of it, but uh, we're not going to stop doing what we do. Thank you again for being there for us. If you're new here, I hope you love what you see. I hope you stick around, and we will see you guys on the next one. Get your on on. <laughs>